Hey everybody, welcome to casterscorner.com. I'm your host Khalil here for another toy of the day. Um, we had some numbering issues. I'm really not sure where we are. I think we're still in the 130s. Um, I think I fixed it all on YouTube. I got to fix it on the website. But you can go to the website casterscorner.com for the full archive, even if it's misnumbered. Um, <laughs> Uh, you can follow us. We are at Casters Corner on all social media. We are on Apple Podcasts. This week we talk uh, with uh, one of our friends at the Nacelle Company to talk about the toys that made us and the movies that made us and the toy shop near you and toy store near you and um, all that stuff. So that's coming up later tonight, uh, sometime before or slightly after midnight. Um, but we will have a new episode up tonight. So um, tonight's review... Is talking about these two gems, um, biggest big huge parts of my childhood. Um, if I can get them spun around correctly, there we go. Um, I never talked about him. He was actually one of my toy of the years um, that I did with uh, Adventures in Collecting when I did their top ten of the year of 2020. Um, he kind of sneaked in right under the wire, and then August 1st, this little guy dropped at Target and. Uh, I really couldn't be happier with both of them. So you're gonna see me struggle with not one, but two Transformers today. Um, hopefully they are not as difficult as I remember them being. Or, well this one isn't because I've been playing with it, but this one, um, I haven't kind of touched him out of this form in a while. But Bumblebee for, from the Transformers. So they, they call this the uh, Bumblebee, uh, Origins Bumblebee Buzzworthy line uh, it's part of the war for cybertron i took a look at the spike um and bumblebee set that came out over the summer last year and uh they're doing this version now and they've got a five pack going with this color um but uh not this design which like is really surprising to me it took the clip jumper design um and added him to the five pack with these colors um the the kind of orangey yellow, I wasn't a huge fan of on this. I mean, it's not bad, it's not horrible, but um, I wanted it a brighter yellow, and uh, and they did that, but then they gave him the wrong car form, so whatever. Um, but I liked having both versions, and they are close enough to each other, at least I think that either one in bot form could really fit into the War for Cybertron line, for sure. Um, well, this one is part of it, and this one, I mean, we fudge it. They, they call it the Buzzworthy line, but um, not all the Transformers fit in that. So let's take a look at the two. So this is his Cybertronian mode. He's got the uh, kind of cannons on the top, the cannon on the side. Um, so you can pop those off, and he's got his Cybertronian mode, which is a pretty cool little kind of like pod racer kind of thing looking there. Um, completely open in the bottom, so there's like no hiding what, what's there. Um, there's no kind of bottom carriage that kind of comes with it. He comes with these Energon or Energy Rods. Um, I think there's five of them. I'll admit I threw everything in a box that I'm kind of digging through. So there's at least five. Um, they're kind of cool. He can't hold them because of the um, flared tips here. So he can't put them in his hand because it's a closed hand. But... Um, but it, but they're fun. He's supposed to carry them kind of like he's holding them like this, running around from like one of the first episodes. So it's a nice addition to kind of like the props of the line. So uh, he is actually rather simple. If I, oh God, I've got PTSD from transforming things. Um, the arc was so kind of temperamental last night. Um, so you could flip out the sides. These are going to become his legs. Um, Pop that, pop those, loosen it up, kind of just kind of, just kind of break it in half to kind of loosen it up a little bit. Um, you can see he's already starting to take form there. Legs fold down. I know I'm gonna pop a piece. I know I am. It it's inevitable, right? Um, I Bumblebee was always one of those characters that I liked growing up but was not, oh, there it is, there's the pop, um, but was not one of those characters that kind of stood out for me as like a favorite of mine. Um, definitely Hot Rod was more of that favorite for me. Um, growing up, the arms are kind of tucked in there, they pop out. So the 
chess piece can come down Ooh, too far. There we go. Um, Hot Rod was always kind of my main transformer uh, guy, I guess you'd say. And, uh, it, you know, Bumblebee was fun. I liked it when he was Goldbug. I liked the return of Optimus Prime when they did that um, storyline. And so you got this, you know, Bumblebee kind of taking charge and kind of trying to bring Optimus back. And, and I like that for him. Um, but never was really a huge, huge Bumblebee fan growing up. But there's the Buzzworthy one. It's good size, right? Not, not bad. Um, nothing to compare it to, really. So then we got this guy. And uh, so this one, if I remember correctly, is a little bit easier. You pop the back end off. He's holding on to it. And then open. Yep, flip those around. There we go. Pop, pop. As I was doing these the other night, my mom was freaking out. She's like, do you worry about when it cracks and creaks and all that stuff? And I said, no, it means it's working. So, you know, I'm not too worried about that. So the problem with this Bumblebee, I think, was the idea that um, he wasn't an Autobot yet. So he does not have the Autobot insignia that you expect him to have. And so he's great, but it, it's missing that thing where it's like the designation. And I know it sounds very trivial, but that is one of the main reasons why I got the Buzzworthy one, the new one from Target. Um, because even though this one looks a lot better as far as, you know, bot mode with the look of the, uh, with the look of the VW bug, even though this one looks a lot better in that respect, oops, Um, kind of a little on par with the first classics line. Uh, I think this one color wise looks a little bit better and he's got the Autobot symbol. So you get, you know, you, you have your choice here, which one you want. I think this bot mode looks better. I think this alt mode looks better. So between the two of them, you have a really good one. And then if you take Optimus here, which I'm actually pretty good at at this point, I've been working on this um, kind of like blindfolded, which I know sounds kind of ridiculous, but uh, yeah, um, it's just kind of one of those things that really uh, drove me to kind of be able to do this without looking. So, um, so you've got this version. And now that I said that, he's not going to transform completely, which is great for talking. There we go. So if you take this Optimus, I'm not going to do him completely out, but you stand him next to B. I mean, I think he looks good. I think they look scale wise. So scale wise, these two are about the same. These two are about the same. And then we see them next to Optimus. I mean, it's the perfect thing. I think these two look the best, honestly. I think this is this is going to be my display. If if we're going to do uh, car modes, this will be my B. Um, but this Bumblebee with this Optimus, I think, is the perfect combination here. And I think Hasbro's really done a great job, um, even when it's, it, it switches to different lines. Um, and it does these different kind of things with it, um, they're keeping the scale. And I think that came out of the Q&A we did back in the spring with them. Um, I asked uh, Lenny from the Transformers and Joe team, point blank, like, you know, every three years we get a, a new theme and then we get bots in different scales and uh, then I'm out. Like, I'm not a lot of collectors are kind of feeling that crunch of like, hey, I'm not starting all over again from scratch. And so the idea of like keeping scale with new lines or new iterations of these things and keeping them so they look good with other versions, I, I think that's a, a real plus for them. 
Um, so I'm looking forward to it continuing for sure. So uh, his blaster can be on his hand. He can hold on to it. He can't really hold on to those rods, um, but he's got a cannon and a pistol. So there you go. Uh, Buzzworthy, Bumblebee, Origins. I it's it's really my favorite bumblebee at the moment and uh with my favorite optimus so uh you can check out a full gallery of him along with uh the netflix version up on casterscorner.com uh you can follow us we are at casters corner on all social media you can check out the corner cast podcast you could check out our t public page all the stuff is in the links below and uh hit that subscribe button either under one b or the other i think it's probably this one um, hit that little logo and subscribe to the channel so you get updates because the more of you that subscribe, the more cool things we get to do and then we get to share them with you. And really that's been the best part of this journey is kind of building this community and this feeling and kind of sharing these collecting moments. Um, and I promise soon, very soon, I just have to make some space and figure out how to show them to you um, and edit because I'm I think I'm going to have to edit that one. But uh, so thank you guys for watching. We'll see you tomorrow night here on castorscorner.com for another toy of the day. Night, everybody.